Hey guys, Impossible Plays here. Today we're doing a quick tutorial on how to uh, BIOS update your MSI B450 Tomahawk motherboard. Um, we need to find you need to find a one gigabyte to eight gigabyte USB drive because those are what usually work. Anything above that, I've had no luck. They don't usually work and they have issues. Um, step two, we need to make it a bootable drive. Um, this is so the motherboard detects it and runs it off and does the update. So what you want to do is you want to open a command prompt as an administrator. So go to this little search icon, type in command, and then go right here and press run as administrator. Click yes. Um, and you need to type in disk part this will bring you to the disk part selection then you need to type in list disk this will bring up all your disks disk 0 is usually your main disk do not select this uh, in my case disk 1 is also being used this is my another disk I use for storage keep an eye on how much storage they use because this the bottom one disk 2 is my USB one you want to select your USB um, after you make sure that this is your USB drive, select your USB drive, you just type in select disk. And then you type in the number that it is, so in this case disk 2. And disk 2 is now the selected disk, you need to type in clean. it's now completely clean there is nothing on warning it is make sure you have everything off of it and no important information is on it now next you need to type convert to MBR this converts the drive to an MBR format and now your USB drive is converted as a boot drive there's one last step you need to do and depending on what happens to your USB when you convert it you're gonna have to go to disk and create and format a hard drive disk partitions you open this it'll open disk management and then you need to go down go to your disk your USB disk and you need to select new simple volume press next specify the volume size go with default assign the sign whatever letter you need to assign and then press next after this you perform a quick format and press next and finish now your USB is still the MB MBR format and it's now added as a new volume and it's created its partition so it will work now on to the next step for the next step we need to go to a got to go to motherboards then support and then you have to select the obviously you have to select the b450 tomahawk the motherboard that you would be using you have to be in BIOS and you have to look for the BIOS version, the newest version. These are all some of the newer versions, but you want to go to V19 because I'm pretty sure this is the one that works the most. And I didn't, haven't tested it yet. If these, if you want to download these instead of this one, because I know this is a main one I don't know if these are like secondary ones that you need the main one so what I just did is I downloaded this then I went up to this and downloaded this one so what you just need to do is you need to download version 19 or version 20 whatever is the newest one and click download and after that it will download the folder you do not need to extract it next okay guys what you need to do is you actually have to extract this just press extract all get that completed and it will extract the file just put this away 
open it find the uh, file you don't need anything else you have to rename the folder to msi.rom you just type in msi all caps dot rom it'll bring up this file name extension might become like stable just press yes and you have completed it now all you need to do is you need to go to your volume drive is this is what I had to correct this just type it in copy to new volume find your USB drive that you're using and put it on and it'll be done the USB is completed and it is ready to uh, BIOS update your BIOS okay for the next step you want to grab your USB in this rat, my rat nest of wires back here you want to find the BIOS flashback button which is this and your f this white outlined one this white outlined USB is the BIOS uh, USB area that you need to plug in your USB to uh, oops wrong way oh it was always the right way okay so now that it's plugged in my computer is already built as a disclaimer so I don't really need to do this but this is the tutorial for you guys I need to power on my computer so give me a second and now that it's powered on I need to press the uh, fly, fly, BIOS flashback button and you will see it blinking pretty soon now it's blinking like that that shows that it's done so now you just need to wait until that's done blinking not the usb the uh bios flashback button directly under it you just need to wait until that's done and you have completed the process of a bios update just wait until it's done because if you remove your usb that will cause big issues and it might corrupt your bios so just a disclaimer, so you guys have a great day. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Goodbye.